Mr. Chairman, I believe that His Right Excellency Paramount Chief Joseph Chatea deserves to be this country's national hero. And I set out to prove this in my presentation here this afternoon by focusing on the Order of National Heroes Act, Chapter 5 of the Laws of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Section 10. This is the law that tells us how a national hero is decided upon. <laughs> I'll present seven major points to support my position, as well as look at who Joseph Chatelier was and what did he do to qualify being this country's national hero. In 2002, more than 10 years ago, the right excellent Joseph Chatelier was accorded the Order of National Hero of St. Vincent and the Grenadines by law. What does the law state? No, Section 10 of the Order of National Heroes Act, which gives the qualifications for the conferment of the Order of National Hero on a person who has qualified Joseph Chatea to be National Hero as he was born in St. Vincent. Now, let us look at the other sections. Section 10, subsection 2A of the Act reads, the person has given outstanding service to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and his contribution has altered positively the course of history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Or, Subsection 2B has given service to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which has been exemplified by visionary and pioneering leadership, extraordinary achievements, and attainment of the highest excellency, which has renowned the honor of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Or, Subsection 2C has throughout heroic exploits and sacrifice contributed to the improvement of the economic, social, or political conditions of St. Vincent and the Grenadines generally. It is significant to note that the order of her national hero shall be conferred upon a person who is dead. So, did Joseph Chatelier meet any of these requirements I just spoke of? Mr. Chairman, Chatelier, who died on March 14, 1795, was a British Garifuna Carib chief who led a revolt against was a, sorry was a Garifuna Carib chief who led a revolt against the British colonial government in St. Vincent in 1795. He is now considered a national hero of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Belize, and other Caribbean countries he fought for during the war. Here are my seven reasons why Chatelier deserves to be national hero. 1. Chatelier shaped the future of St. Vincent and the Grenadines based on visionary leadership and resilience. In 1772, the native population of St. Vincent rebelled against the colonial forces. Led by Chatelier, the First Carib War forced the British to sign a treaty with them. It was the first time Britain had been forced to sign a treaty with indigenous people in the Caribbean. In other words, the British had a habit of just coming in, conquering your people, taking your land, and establishing their own political, cultural, and social system. But not with our Chatelier and not with St. Vincent, they were given a fight. Joseph Chatelier did put up a fight against colonialism and defend his people and his territory as a leader in a time where, in other Caribbean countries, leaders were easily defeated by the British. And to me, this qualifies as national hero based disqualifies as Chatelier as national hero based on sections 10C, D, and E of the Order of National Hero Act based on his visionary leadership, resistance against more powerful forces altered positively the course of history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Two, it can be said that because of Chatelier, the Caribs of St. Vincent were able to resist European settlement longer than any other island in the Caribbean under the leadership of Joseph Chatelier as paramount chief. Three, our history books tells us that due to the resistance put up by the Caribs, St. Vincent and the Grenadines had the shortest period of slavery in the Caribbean. 4. The all-powerful British who had a governor established in this country and who affected the indigenous people with genocide had to sign a treaty with this man who defied the odds to defend his country and his people. They had never signed a treaty with any indigenous leader in their conquest before. Now isn't that, isn't that a hero? What a man. Of course, 22 years after this treaty, the British were no longer interested in keeping it, as they wanted SVG under their complete rule. And it was that, and it was this that Chatelier resisted. And what Wikipedia.com tells us started the Second Carib War. We all know the sad end of that story. Five, Mr. Chairman, Chatelier fought for Caribs and those of Carib descent who still live here in this country should be proud of Chatelier. He also fought for those of us of African descent as many plantations were destroyed and slaves freed in his time. Mr. Chairman, 
the SVG Ministry of Tourism website in an article explaining National Heroes Day says that enslaved Africans who escaped the oppressive power by the British in nearby Barbados, St. Lucia, and Grenada fled to St. Vincent to seek refuge under the leadership of Chateauier. Six, Mr. Chairman, judges, this is very important. Listen carefully. If Joseph Chatea was not given the honor of national hero here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it would have been a serious historical failure by our leaders not to formally recognize the Garifuna people who are Chatea's descendants and their right to be an important part of our modern Vincentian society. It would also be a regression to respect to our efforts to move forward as one people. To, to the people in the north, the Garifuna people, these people are rightfully Vincentians. And Joseph Chatea, who was once their leader, was rightfully a Vincentian as well. Joseph Chatea, therefore, stands today as a national symbol in this country that represents the people in the north, those whose ancestors, those whose ancestors came in as slaves, as well as others in the neighboring countries. Joseph Chatea, therefore, represents me, and he represents you. More so, Chatea was Garifuna, a race created when the Yellow Caribs and Black intermarried. This satisfies requirements E of the Heroes Act, which speaks about extraordinary achievements and the attainment of highest excellency, which has renowned the honor of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 7. As I conclude, Mr. Chairman, Joseph Chatea is more than a national hero. In fact, his memory, his contribution, and his legacy stands as a modern day symbol for regional inter interrogation. Um, the Great Houston Garifuna American Partnership, Partnership, a Texas grassroots community organization, Caribbean News, no website, and many leaders within the Carib Caribbean have refuged to Chatea as the highest cultural figure among the Garifuna community in the Central American Caribbean coast as Garifuna American communities across the United States. Chateau's work is recognized highly in Belize, St. Vincent, Venezuela, St. Lucia, and many other Caribbean and Latin American countries. Even the outgoing ambassador of Venezuela named his embassy's conference room after Vincentian national hero Joseph Chatea, calling it a dignified gesture based on an article in the Vincentian newspaper dated January 25, 2013. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it is based on these facts that I believe that His Right Excellency Paramount Chief Joseph Chatea should be this country's national hero. I thank you.